na 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 hey ba 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 ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of all ages welcome to stomp the idiot i am the huge one a kid idiot dave coco from dabcocio.com answering your questions feel free to hit me up on a twitter machine at coco sports or down in the comments below i've been sick the last couple of days so i'm trying to catch up on a lot of these so i apologize for the wait we're always live on twitch.tv forward slash coco sports and let's begin this is from ray t from houston texas always coming up with some good questions some of them i i, I, don't, I don't even have the answers for these questions are so damn good i gotta get i gotta get more clever gotta get more smart good day dave coco that's me regarding the japanese indies which of these companies are ready to have a breakout year you have glee 2aw pro wrestling wave a women's company just tap out and thank you for everything you are way too kind sir uh I, I, you know a i only know some of these companies through um guest appearances so it's not really fair but i'm all in on glee i think glee is gonna have a breakout year i i think they have they have a nice presentation they have a different product it reminds me of a new version of a nokiaism in a good way i know uh dave Meltzer has made that word a bad word but they have mma shows martial arts shows pro wrestling shows all different types and uh, so I like the way when you win it, when you win uh, one of the gimmicks they have is when you win in a title match, you get a, a tr uh, medal, like an Olympic medal. I love that a lot. I love when people have original ideas like that. So I'm all in on Glee. It is free on YouTube. As far as TAW and Just Tap Out, I have seen no wrestlers, but I've only, st I'm going to be 100% honest here. Got to keep it reals. I only seen the wrestlers as guests on other shows that I have watched. I like the name Just Tap Out. Um, so I know as far as, let, let, let me talk about Pro Wrestling Wave and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to change my content coming forward. Because this question motivated me to change my content, boys. Thank you, Ray T from Houston, Texas. Uh, Pro Wrestling Wave, I don't think it's going to make it out of all of them. And I hate to say this, it's our fault. Women, Pro Wrestling, women let's see fans of women in pro wrestling are lazy that's why they want matches at no one new japan they're too lazy to go to uh tjpw they're too lazy to go to stardom they're too lazy to go to pro wrestling wave i don't think women's wrestling the companies are going to survive because we're too lazy you know like i'm like yeah tjpw stardom and they're like why isn't on new japan well i mean they have their own show you know, why is it on? Why, you know, I love people. I fucking need, we need Noah. Noah's barely selling out now that Muda retired and they booked themselves into a hole. It's like, you literally, to watch Noah, you literally have to skip over TJPW. It's insane. So, Pro Wrestling Wave. But, as far as this goes, this motivated me. And I, I've been thinking about this for a while. And I'm probably going to, by the end of the year, change up the way to do my content. Because the review game, I like the question game. I, I really love. But the review game is kind of like, if you're not 100% positive on everything, no one gives a fuck. Uh, the employees at Pro Wrestling Noah and the employees at New Japan care about my views way more than any viewer does. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, literally, no employees are like, yeah, just tell us what you think. New Japan employees are like, tell us what you think. I want to hear your fucking feedback. Doesn't mean they're going to listen to me. But they actually want feedback that says the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's not what the viewer wants. You want me to review New Japan? It's amazing, and nothing ever goes wrong. You want me to review Pro Wrestling Noah? It's amazing, and nothing goes wrong. Do you want me to review Glee? It's amazing, and nothing goes wrong. <laughs> So, it, it, this question, I don't know how many views it will get, he, he, Ray T from Houston, but I live in Japan. I think by the end of the year, I want to get it where, because, it, it, you know, I am retired, I'm on a fixed income. I either want to, like, reach out and be guest of these people, or I want to pick, hand pick different companies to go to and cover it. Like, what is it like to go to the stadium? What is it like to talk to the athletes? What is it that, that just because... It's easier to be more positive when you're live and you don't have to review it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like eating a really bad food from your aunt fucking Stephanie. I really have an aunt Stephanie. I should have used a different name. A really bad fruit food from aunt Susan. I don't think I have an aunt Susan. Sorry, aunt Steph. Um, 
you know, yeah, fuck it, it tastes like shit. But you're not a fucking review of food, or you're not a reviewer of food. You just go and you're like, fucking Aunt Susan, thank you for fucking lasagna. It was wonderful. You're lying. You're absolutely fucking lying. But you're not in a review game. But then if Aunt Susan opens up her own goddamn fucking lasagna shop and you go there and it tastes like shit, that's on you. That's on you. You should have fucking pre-warned Aunt Susan, you son of a bitch. Anyway, I got off topic. I'm probably going to change the way I do my content moving forward just because outside of legit employees, no one enjoys the reviews unless it's 100% positive. And I would rather just not do it. <laughs> I'd rather just not do it. If you're like, I like, do we have a guy that dislikes literally every New Japan Noah video? It's like, you have to be a subscriber because the YouTube algorithm isn't sending it out. They're like, dislike, dislike, dislike. You said something negative. And it's like, all right, dude. Uh, all right. Then fucking, I'll just go there and show you what it's like. And then, you know, and be like, oh, this is cool. That's it. I will go and see these companies like my Aunt Susan cooking. You know, I might fucking suck. But we're like, hey, look at the ring. Hey, look at the sparklers. Hey, look at this talent. And maybe just focus on the good. But as far as this list goes, it is not fair for TAW and just tap out as I haven't seen enough of them. Pro Wrestling Wave, I wish you nothing but the best, but women fans are fucking lazy. I don't even watch the WNBA for Christ's sake. So my winner of this list is Gleet. I watch it. I enjoy Glee. I I think it's original. I think it's a Nokiaism with a twist. So and it's free on YouTube, so you can check it out. I don't know about the others. Uh, Rick nineteen eighty two has a YouTube channel. He might know more about the others, so make sure to check that out. All right. So like, comment, subscribe. Ray T from Houston, Texas. Thank you for the great question. Uh, we are Kogo Sports on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and the mean streets of Yokohama. And you send us questions at Coco Sports on Twitter. And with that, I am over. Ba -na -na -na.